yeah. I mean, that kind of sucks, but, yeah, the the uh, rival fights are a lot better in this game, because you can actually, you actually have to have some kind of strategy. You can't just wail on them. Also, I love this. Like, they do this... This isn't the only time they've done it in a Sonic game, but we're like midway through the stage here. And now Sonic's gonna take a massive U-turn and go to the start. And yeah, it's kind of weird, but whatever. But yeah, um, one thing I want to bring up is that, honestly, uh, SA1 stages are really not that much more open-ended than in this game, because in SA1, Sure, they're more open-ended overall, and there's a there's more paths to go through it, like as a whole. But I feel like the paths that are done made in this game are more well thought out and fit well, fit better for this playstyle. And there's a decent amount of platforming. There's um, a, there aren't that like s as many paths. That there aren't too many paths to take, but. There are a lot more than people give it credit for, in my opinion, and um, I do think that it could have been a little bit more, like, had a few more paths for sure, but I don't think that it's that much more linear than SA1, because really comparing the two side by side, it, they're very similar in linearity, honestly, like, I don't know, like, I, I never felt... I don't really find SA1 to have that many more paths overall, and yeah, I mean, no, you can't go down there. Yeah, and another thing about this game is that there are also more paths you can take from getting certain power-ups later on, so yeah, there's that too. Like, there's just a lot more, wait, is there stuff down here? Yeah, there is. Yeah. See what I mean? There, there are actual secrets in this game that people very regularly like to forget about that, which is kind of sad. Like, it's definitely, like, the classics have a lot more paths, like, than both adventure games, for sure, but I will completely disagree about this game having no exploration whatsoever. And I think, I think it were they did it good at well enough for this for this game like it it definitely could have some more paths uh, than it does but i'm not complaining like i think the game does its job really well and this is this stage is like the first instance of you need you needing to worry about your homing attacks more because there are some specific homing attack chains where if you just kill them all aimless like carelessly you will screw up and mess up the chain. So. And there we go. Level complete. Yeah, like the whole rating system, rate ranking system just has that arcadey feel. Like you want to just get better and be, have those stylish points and, Oh man, this game is just so fun. Damn, son. And now it's only with Knuckles. Yeah, I love how he's just kind of doing his own thing while all the other characters are off to their story and all that. They'll meet up later, but it's kind of funny how it works. Knuckles, and we're a pumpkin hill. You ready? I ain't gonna let it get to me. I'm just gonna creep. Yep. Yeah, and it recessed to me sick. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, pumpkin hill. One of my favorite scramble for the emeralds. Uh, yeah, okay, this admittedly isn't a very helpful hand, but you know, we can still, we're getting an emerald beep, so should be around here somewhere. Maybe it's down here. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. And hint number two. Leap behind a pumpkin, so I'm 
Assuming that's in the, uh, the, uh, pumpkin area. Pumpkin, or whatever it's called. That's Church Mountain, I think. But, yeah, okay. But is there a emerald up here? Nope, okay. Fly, and I went in deeper. Hey, good. To me, I'm just gonna creep. Down a bunkin hill, I got some fun, my little scene. I don't, I don't know all the lyrics off the top of my head, but... Either way. There we go. Lost pumpkin. Is it in here as well? Approach me and got Leary. Ask him a question and finish in the second. Um. Hmm. Maybe it's one of these. But you see what I mean? Like, it, it's... It's definitely not going to be, this playstyle is not going to be for everyone, and I get that. But, I find it a lot more enjoyable to go through these than an SA1. They're a lot more fun to play, uh, just explore. The controls are tremendously improved over SA1s. And, um, yeah. It has to be around here somewhere. Just look around for a lonely pumpkin or something. Okay, that was weird. Oh yeah, if you spin around, you do like a screw kick or something, or whatever that's meant to be. That took me... Oh, here it is. Okay. Alright, uh... There we go. Okay, cool. See? Hints do help. <laughs> well, I... I had the general idea of what I was looking for, so... There you go. 2 minutes, 16 seconds. And that was one of the bigger levels in the game, so... I don't know what to tell you. This is pretty epic. Yep. Eggman's going for real this time. Look! Half of the moon is gone? Eggman! No! Oh, that freak never gives up! But how did he manage to harness all that energy? <laughs> yeah, that's the reason they were looking for him! Tails? <laughs> oh duh. Yeah, Amy's gonna stick around a little bit, but she's not playable, so she kinda she's kinda just here. Anyway, still so another Tails level. And I love Tails' music in this game. Like uh, a lot the general um opinion seems to be that the um soundtrack in SA one is a lot better than SA two. And while SA1 has a fantastic soundtrack for sure, I honestly find myself enjoy uh, listening the listening to the SA2 soundtrack a lot more often. And I generally think it has uh, 
the more enjoyable uh, music like, overall. Like, SA1 has more like overall themes and like uh, like music genres and all that going on, but I feel like SA SA2's music is a lot more like sonic -y, I guess you could say, and a lot more fun to listen to. And um, tells is tells is genre music genre is one of my favorites. Like I love his themes in this game, um, and I think the vocal, his vocal theme, which is a remix of his one from SA1, is a lot more, uh, is a lot better than the, the SA1 version. Like it's a lot more energetic, a lot more fun to listen to, and yeah. I'll just go here, get the switch. But yeah, like, uh, you may say, like, oh, SA, SA2 only has three gameplay styles. It must be, like, what happened there? Like, uh, SA1 had six, you know? And, you know, I, I can understand that, of course, for newcomers and all that, but I think it actually worked out in the game's favor because SA1 is really like the definition of like Turing what, what should we call it what's that saying like um like you're putting too much in your you're you're dealing with too much or whatever and like SA1 like it has a lot to it especially for a first major 3D Sonic game for, for sure but like it's to a lot of content to a fault because it feels like there's not that much of a general direction going on with that game. Like it feels like it's trying to be too many things at once, and really, I can only say with certainty that Sonic Story is a lot of fun to go through. Like the others, I can play the other gate, the other, the other stories and have a decent time but as a package SA1 is just kind of okay in all honesty like um, the level design is fine but I think the levels in here are a lot more enjoyable again they have a lot more set pieces they're tailor made for the specific play styles and since there's only three of them it gives uh, Sonic Team the chance to like expand upon those specific three play styles and make them the best they can be and you know I like that a lot like they there doesn't need to be a million different play styles for it to be a good game like you only have three here instead of six but because of that again it gives them the chance to make them more refined as uh, than before and you know Yeah, I just, I just think this game's a massive improvement. I'm heavily on board with the SA2 bandwagon, which is turning into the hate. Like, a lot of people seem to hate this game now, which is kind of sad. I really do think this game is underappreciated and kind of thrown under the bus lately. And don't say it's like, oh, you played this game first, so that's why you like it more. Actually, no. I played SA1 first, so you can't pull that clock you can't pull that card on me. I didn't expect the inside of the mines to be like this. This is gonna be tougher than I Like I didn't know what it was at first. I was just a kid back then, but I always enjoyed SA2 more. Uh, I like spent tons of time in the stages and I enjoyed that. Like I'm I don't care that much about level length in, in games as long as i'm enjoying it i don't complain like that's why i never really complained about stuff like the level length in heroes because i really enjoy most of those stages um and you know oh i guess it's in here that actually makes things very convenient where is it Has to be in here somewhere. Oh, I, I'm I'm blind. I thought that was like a ring or something. 
Oh, it actually makes my life easier because I was going here for the uh, air necklace, which is the power up for Knuckles here. And yeah, that's one thing that I love how they improved in this game is that SA1 had it so the the power ups were in uh, the hub world or the hub worlds, and um, there were only I think only big like uh, fishing laws were the uh, the stage power-ups and even then they aren't really that like you don't really need that to be the main game but um oh my god um but yeah i like how this game has it so every stage has like a um has a power-up or some kind well besides a certain other playstyle which we'll see soon enough all right let's get a hint somewhere where's the hint there we go. Near the blue flame, okay. I just walk around here. Nope. Yeah, the camera's not perfect here, admittedly, but it's high up. Okay, I didn't mean to actually go use that hand, but at least we know it's high up. Oh wait, hold on, uh, is it in one of those, like, okay, it might be in the, this area here, no, okay, no, there's no blue flame, flame here, well, there are blue flames, but it doesn't seem to be what it's talking about. Okay, it went yellow. Maybe up here? Oh, I guess it's... Yeah, the... The radar is admittedly a bit too sensitive. Like, it would... Would have been better if... If it was, like, had all the different, like... Different... Oh, okay, I see, I see. I don't get it, what? High up, blue flame. See, what is it, this? This blue flame? Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's a ring. My bad. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Little blue flame. High up. Wait, 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 wait. Oh! No, that's a dig. Oh, under it. Okay, that was admittedly pretty bad, but oh, I'm already getting the next bleep. Dented ceiling. All right. Right, and let me go back up there because I was already getting a bling. Yeah, this is a pretty bad run, admittedly, but what are you gonna do? Wait, what? I was getting a bleep earlier. Oh, yeah. So, down from here, so... If I just... Get that. Go to where it was. Where was it? It was like... Over here. Okay, so I'm gonna go down from there. Some water ride. It's a joy to ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's still going off. Alright. Okay, maybe it's through her. Dented ceiling. Maybe it has to be up there then, I guess. So I guess we have to 
Go back. Alright, so we're gonna have to mess with the world a little bit. Yeah, my time isn't usually this bad on this stage, admittedly, but whatever. Okay, let's go for her again. And we just... Oh, oh! Okay, we're on the right track. Wait, what? How do I get that, then? So, I know it's up there, then, but... I guess I'm gonna have to... Go to level 2 of the war level. Alright. I'd be more anal if this... About my... Uh, time if this was just a regular playthrough, but this is a this is a since this is an actual LP, I'm not gonna bother restarting and all that because you know don't want to waste time. Oh what? Okay. Hold on. Whoa whoa whoa! Camera, what are you doing? I'm not really making a, a good argument for this right now, but give away. It's all about learning, because there are so many different, um, so many different, uh, like, areas that emeralds could be at. I just drain the water level. It's, I know where it is, it's just the fact of how I get up there. Oh, maybe it's hot for her. Okay. How the hell... Uh, um... Oh, you know what, I'm restarting, this is bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't, I can't do that. That was horrendous. Metal barrel in a luggage area. Luggage area. Up here? This is going... No, it can't be. Alright. In aquatic mine. Yeah, boy. Oh. Oh, cool. Okay. Then where are you at, bro? Yeah, I didn't. I use war level two high. Okay, so it's around here somewhere. Is it in? It's gonna be in there, I think. Yeah, look, like yeah, I I actually enjoy navigating through these stages. I think it's a lot of fun. And these ghosts can kind of be a pain, not gonna lie. Where is it? Okay, so we know we're in the right area. And we're gonna die. <laughs> is it gonna. Ha! Huh. I didn't know it could actually be in the ghost. Dig on the slope, okay. Whoa, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, sometimes it's just a better option to just restart if you're having too much trouble. Doing a slope, so I guess it's gonna be somewhere around here. Alright, oh, wait, I might have an idea of where it is. Actually. Yep, yep. Okay, not quite. There we go. Alright, that was a little bit. Yeah, this is perfect. 
cool. And what do we have next?